Can you spot the trees in that scene? Of course you can. How about this one? Or this one? Or this one? As you can see, trees and shrubs are just about everywhere and somebody needs to take care of them. We call the field of tree and shrub care arboriculture. The field offers some very interesting career opportunities you may want to consider. Here's why. Trees enhance the quality of life. Trees filter poisons and smog from the air we breathe, provide food, protect against erosion, and make things look better by adding color and hiding views of ugly buildings and busy highways. They also provide cooling shade, muffle street noise, and discourage graffiti and crime. And of course, they provide homes to birds and animals. They only do these useful things for us when they're healthy themselves. And keeping them that way is a job of an arborist. Actually, arborist is a catch-all term for a variety of interesting careers where your office may be a park, a playground, a beautiful residential neighborhood, a college campus, or a high-tech laboratory. No boring cubicles for arborists. If you care about trees, there are many companies, including landscape management companies, government agencies, towns, parks, and colleges all across the country offering good pay to young men and women who want to care for and protect trees. So, what exactly do arborists do? To answer that, I'm gonna turn things over to my friend Jenny. Thanks, Alex. Answering the question, what do arborists do, isn't easy because they do a lot of different things. Here, take a look. Wow, as you can see, arboriculture isn't just about climbing trees anymore. Though that part sure does look like fun, doesn't it? As an arborist, you'll use the latest technology to help trees and protect the environment, as well as people. Just as your body needs care, food, and water to survive, so too do trees. So how do you become an arborist? There are so many ways. You can begin working right out of high school. You can go to a two or four year college and then join the field. Or you can get an advanced degree and then get a job. You can even work in the field while you go to school. Some tree care companies offer internships and scholarships if you study arboriculture or a related field like landscape architecture, botany, horticulture, forestry, urban forestry, entomology, plant biology. Hmm, you study and they pay. Sounds good to me. Will you have trouble finding a job? Not likely. The arboriculture industry needs your help now and is offering good jobs in all 50 states. This is not seasonal work either, but rather full-time jobs that must be done all year. There are arboricultural careers for almost every preference. You like hands-on physical work? We've got it. You like consulting with people and sales? Got it. Want to use your brain? We need that too. General tree care crew members are the action heroes of arboriculture. They become experienced in all phases of tree maintenance and the safe operation of equipment used in tree care. A certified arborist representative will develop client relationships by consulting with prospects and existing customers and helping determine their tree and shrub care needs. The crew foreman maintains, operates, and organizes the equipment, supplies, and tools used on each job. The foreman is responsible for ensuring that all services are conducted in a safe manner, thereby protecting crew members and the property being worked on. An experienced arborist is capable of managing a crew, as well as all facets of tree, shrub, and plant care. The supervising or senior foreman uses his or her leadership skills to provide direction, training, and safety guidelines for the crew as they perform all facets of plant care. Integrated Pest Management Technicians, or IPM techs, provide a complete tree and shrub health care plan, just as a doctor would. This work includes diagnosing insect infestations, diseases, and cultural problems, and providing an accurate soil management plan for trees, shrubs, and plants, to actually correcting landscape problems with appropriate treatments. The plant healthcare technician is responsible for properly conducting plant healthcare applications and for maintaining, operating, and organizing the equipment, 
treatment and supplies needed to successfully perform the job. An administrative assistant performs or supervises all administrative and clerical work, depending on the size of the office. Arboricultural laboratories require PhDs, plant and soil scientists, and supporting professionals who conduct research to help develop programs, techniques, and testing equipment that set the standards for the tree care industry. So those are some of the career paths you can follow as an arborist. But what are the actual services you'll provide? To tell you more about that, here's Buddy. Thanks, Jenny. As you just saw, there are lots of different job titles, but the actual services provided by arborists fall into two basic categories, vegetation management for rights of way or utilities, and residential or commercial tree care. Vegetation management involves pruning trees so they don't interfere with power lines, phone wires, high tension lines, highways, or railroads. This type of work involves physically removing trees and brush and applying herbicides. Although trees improve the environment, they can also create safety hazards and interfere with the operation of public utilities and transportation systems if they're allowed to grow out of control or if bad weather brings them down. This type of arboricultural work is a vital service to our communities. In the area of professional tree and shrub care, services include complete landscape management and may involve fertilization, cabling and bracing trees, installing lighting protection, pruning, and management of pests and disease. Most of these functions are designed to keep trees alive, healthy, and beautiful. These services are provided at private homes, college campuses, corporate parks, government installations, golf courses, in parks, and at resorts. The basics of tree care include pruning, root care, cabling and bracing, pest management, and soil analysis. Proper pruning not only makes a tree look better, it also improves insect and disease resistance. Roots are an important part of a plant's development. An unhealthy or damaged root system can create problems that affect the tree's structure and proper growth. Trees are cabled and braced to provide extra structural support, making them less susceptible to damage by high winds. Pests and diseases are kept under control through the careful use of EPA-registered materials that are applied to plants. Soil samples reveal whether nutrition is adequate to keep the tree healthy and to provide a prescription for proper soil management. This is just a sample of what awaits you in the exciting field of arboriculture. Here's Mark Chisholm to tell you more. In the world of climbing, there's only one thing that really matters, safety. The other factors, such as speed and skill, will develop with time. So if you decide to become a climber, allow yourself the time it takes to become good at what you do by always playing it safe. Stand clear. How many other careers let you earn a good living while making a real difference? You can save a tree and help to protect the planet. Now that's arboriculture.